we have uh, one more video to learn about uh, printing in Rust. Uh, for for the first of uh, these examples, I, uh, I chose these two characters. This is uh, Dracula from uh, Castlevania, and this is his son Alucard. And they have um, they have full names uh, as characters. So uh, the uh, the father's name is Vlad, and uh, his son's name is uh, his real name is uh, Adrian Fahrenheit. And then they both share the same family name, so they are Tepesh. And um, so we made uh, each of them into a variable. We've got father name, son name, and family name. And then uh, if you want to print them out together, one way you can do it is, um, so you know, usually when you have nothing here, Rust will just, uh, will just choose the first one the first variable to uh, to pull into here, and the second one to pull into here, and the third one to pull into here. But we actually have three variables, and we want to print them out four times, and uh, in a little bit of a different order. So what we do is we give them a number. So it'll go like this. So this is one, and one will be variable number zero one, which is son's name. So it'll say this is Adrian Fahrenheit, and then uh, next, it'll go to here, which is uh, 012, which is family name, so Tepesh. And then it'll say son of, and then zero, which is the first one, which is the zeroth, which is uh, father name, which is Vlad. And then it'll go back to family name, and it'll print it out a second time. So then it makes a uh, full sentence. This is Adrian Fahrenheit Tsepesh, son of Vlad Tsepesh. So that's one way you can do that. Uh, another thing you can do is instead of uh, instead of going with the uh, the zero one two, you can give them names, and uh, that can make it easier for uh, for humans for us to read. And my example here is a. Uh, <clears throat> So I take the uh, the cities of uh, Seoul, Busan, Tokyo, and then country Korea, and we're printing them all together. And what we want to say is city one is in country, and city two is also in country, but city three is not in country. And then we can just give them names to make them easy to find. So city one is equal to Seoul, city two is equal to Busan, city three is equal to Tokyo, and uh, and then we have country, which is Korea. So it'll print out this uh, this nice readable sentence. Seoul is in Korea, and Busan is also in Korea, but Tokyo is not in Korea. And then finally, there is some really really complicated printing. If you want to, uh, if you ever need this, uh, there's a there's a full system to it. And uh, you know, most of the time you won't need to, but uh, it's good to know that uh, that you can if you want. And the way it works, you know, we've seen a whole bunch of weird stuff. There's like printing out a pointer, printing out hexadecimal, printing out uh, debug, printing out pretty print debug and stuff like that. And the way the system works is it says it goes from left to right and first it says, do you want a variable name? So we gave some variable names here. So these always come first. And then after that comes a colon. And then it, uh, that's where you can put in padding. A padding like, uh, like let's say you want, um, you want dots on the left and dots on the right. Then you can do uh, padding as a dot. And then the alignment is if you want it to be center or right or left, and then the minimum maximum is like um, specifying a, uh, a length that you want to print. So my example here is that. So this is a uh, Korean here, and uh, it's just uh, it's just a character. And uh, what we do is we take just this letter A, and then we tell Rust, okay, we want to print. We want to print it like this. And the way it works is, uh, well, this is what I'll print. So I'll just show you right now. So there you go. So what it does, remember I said we look from left to right. So it says, is there, it checks for a variable name and see there's nothing to the left. 
so we're not giving it a variable name. And then after that comes a padding character. And the padding character we chose was this uh, Korean here. So this is what it's going to use to pad. And then after that is, uh, you know, do you want to do, what's the alignment? You Do you want it centered, right, or left? And uh, yeah, this character means, uh, means centered. And then this character is for left, and this is this is right. And then after that is the uh, the minimum length. So uh, we said eleven. So we want it to be. You know, this will take up one, and then uh, so it'll put five on the left and five on the right, and that's eleven in total. And then if we had a dot and then a ma a maximum number, then it would uh, it would not print. You know, any any more than that. And then this last one is uh, <clears throat> the most complicated example. And you can see, so we're printing, you know, today's news. And then we have this thing here. So there's no variable name. Uh, we'll pad it with a, uh, with a hyphen. It'll, it'll center it and then be 30 characters long. And then we'll put this, this thing here. And then the, and then the next will be, uh, padded to the left with with uh, with empty spaces, and then padded to the right with empty spaces. Then we print. Uh, then we have Seoul and Tokyo, and then we print uh, city one. Uh, so we're calling. Uh, you know, we're giving it a variable name, and then we're going to pad it with hyphens, and it will be. Uh, this one will go to the left, and then this one will go to the right. And then when we print it out, there you go. So you got today's news. You know, it's in the center. It's 30 characters in length. And then we have a uh, we have this bar here. We print out the bar. Put one bar on the left over here, padded with 15. And then another bar on the right, padded with 15. And then we make these two variables here. And we have Seoul, which is called, uh, here we're calling it city A or city one. And we put it on the left, uh, padded with hyphens. And then Tokyo on the right, padded with hyphens again, and 15 in length. So there's a lot of stuff you can do if you, uh, if you want to look into it.